Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of area and volume. This is standard 6.8D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 34 off the 2018 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a rectangular prism, and we need to find the volume. So volume, sometimes we're going to see two different equations. So sometimes we're going to see base times height. If it's a volume of a rectangular prism like we have here, we might see length times width times height. And if we see length times width times height, just realize that length times width is what equals the base. So let's take a look at what we have here. We've got a rectangular base. I'm going to outline it right there in green. And so we can find the area of the base by multiplying length times width. So we've got the 7 times 2.5. And, and that's going to be the only tricky part. There's a few different ways that we could multiply 7 times 2.5. What I find the easiest is typically changing any fractions into decimals. Multiplying by decimals is super easy. So we know that 1 half equals 0 0.5. That's just part of our benchmark fractions that in sixth grade we memorize. 1 half equals 0 0.5 or 5 tenths. So 2 and a half is just going to change the ones place. 2.5. Once we can make that conversion, then multiplication becomes simple. So we just multiply 2.5 times 7, and that's going to be 35, 14, 17. So we have 175, but remember we've got decimals. We've got one digit behind the decimal in the factor, so one digit behind the decimal in the product, 17.5. Now there is another way that we could get 17.5 if you want to keep everything as fractions. What we do is we convert this 2.5 into a mixed number. So 2.5, how do we change that into from a mixed number into an improper fraction? Well, you multiply the whole number by the denominator, so that's going to be 4. And then add the numerator back in, that's going to be 5, so that's your new numerator. You multiply whole number by denominator and then add the numerator back in. Then you keep your denominator the same. So 5 halves is the same as 2.5. And now we can multiply that by 7, because 7 is the same as 7 over 1, or 7 once, and multiplying fractions is easy. You just multiply straight across. You get 35 halves, but now that's an improper fraction. Now we're going to have to divide up, and guess what you're going to get? You are going to get 17 and a half, or 17.5. So I think 17.5 in decimal is the easier way to do it. Either way, we now have the area of the base, 17.5, and that's feet squared. Next is we simply need to multiply by our height. So we're going to say volume equals base, which is 17.5 feet squared. It's feet squared because we've already multiplied feet twice, the 7 and the 2.5 times this 4, and you see why keeping it as decimal is going to be easier, because if we multiplied and kept it as this mixed number, we're going to have to just do the same thing again to multiply by 4. So that's why I always recommend going back into decimals. So let's multiply 17.5 times 4, and we will get this 20, that's 2830, and that is, looks like 700. Remember, it's not. We have one digit behind the decimal in factors, so one digit behind the decimal in the product. And so our answer is going to be 70 feet cubed, feet to the third. So our answer is going to be this H, 70 feet cubed. And we are looking at it that way in cubes, because we have to imagine that we're putting little tiny cubes in here. And we multiplied feet times itself three times. That's why you have the exponent of three.